Senators hosting the Panthers, and the Panthers are minus 130 on the money line. The Senators are plus 110. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Panthers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 185, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Senators getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 225, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Panthers are going to be uh, putting in Bob Broski in net. He's probably going to probably make 70% of the starts of this year, usually how it goes. And for the Senators, they get to try out their new toy in Ulmark, and I'm sure the Bruins were hope, wishing that they had him tonight in net instead of uh, Corpusalo, because my God, what a disaster that started out to be. <clears throat> Head-to-head, -head, the Panthers are 9-1. They're on a five-game winning streak against the Senators. The home team is 6-4. The favorite has won the last five games they've played against each other. The favorite is 9-1 on the money line, and the favorite winning by multiple goals, laying a goal and a half, is 7-3. There have been two one-goal games in their last 10. The under is 5-3-2, and, and the under 6.5 goals is 6-4. They played each other, it would appear, four times last year. The Panthers won 5-0 in Ottawa, 3-2 in overtime in Florida, 6-0 and then 2 nothing. The Panthers played the Bruins tonight at home, and they ended up winning 6-4. to four. They were up 6-2 to two last I saw in the third period, so something interesting must have happened after I turned that game off. Uh, I'm going to take the Panthers with the money line. I will take the Panthers laying the goals, and I'm going to go under. I do think that they're a better team, but I think Allmark should do enough to keep the Senators in this game, but we'll see what their offense actually looks like. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.